Welcome back everybody. Got a great video planned for you today. Um, tons of gold, got some silver, and even a 300 year old coin, my oldest coin I've ever found. So stay tuned to uh, see all those finds and um, if you enjoy the video, please consider liking the video and subscribe to help me grow my channel so more people can see my videos. Uh, that's all I'm gonna say and I'll see you later. First target is this padlock right here. It says American, USA, US up the back. I don't think it's very old, but it sounded good. I thought it was a silver quarter. Let's keep going. Here's the next target. We found a piece of this game before. Uh, this time we have Ben Franklin. I forget who we got last time, but it's pretty cool. Uh, it was sticking right out of the side right there. It wasn't very deep, but it says 1960 whatever on there. So hopefully that's a good sign of silver in this field. Let's keep going. All right, I had a very good tone. It was about 30. And I saw this sticking out of the hole. Now, is it a coin or is it a button? I want to be very careful because I see details on there. Oh, I see Britannia on the back. Yes, let's go. Of course, I forgot my toothbrush today, but that looks like it'll have some good detail, so I am not going to brush it too much with my hands because I don't want to ruin it. But um wow i think it's a king george the first see the fat rim i think that's a king george the first i'm not gonna get too many too much fingers on there right now i'm gonna i'm gonna get a toothbrush and show you right now okay here we are king george the first half penny this is actually in very good condition it's hard to get the angle right i'm using the flash it's in good condition for how old it is and how old it is is 1727 so this is basically a 300 year old coin um this is the oldest coin i've ever found uh and the best shape english colonial copper i have if you will and um yeah it, i really don't want it to flake i'm not going to handle it too much longer so i'll put some pictures on the screen I'm gonna live dig this, but I have low hopes for this one. It was a 30 in the hole, but now once I took the top off, it's a 40, so. Doesn't sound too good to me. kind of cut short but way down there <laughs> got this brass rig now oh, who knows what that is <laughs> uh, the wedding band to a giant or maybe just you know a piece of a horse well not a piece of a horse but a piece of a, something that goes onto a horse right all right it's very heavy i don't know sounded really good unfortunately it's not something a little better but it is old and we'll take it all right here we go a little flat button this was sounding better until I dug it and then it didn't sound good, but uh, I don't know if you can see it. It's got a somewhat fancy design. <laughs> Pull some of the dirt away. I haven't looked on this side yet, but maybe there's a design over here too. Oh, I think there is. Is that a design or? Hold on, let me give it a little pants rub. Alright. Uh... No, that's not a design, it's just all crusty. But it's an old flat button. It's pretty old to me. Cool. All right, so I just got something in here. I already saw it, but <laughs> just for dramatic effect. Uh, silver quarter, 1943. I'm gonna rub on this one. I don't have any water, but look at that. Pretty cool. It rang up just like a regular quarter. It wasn't, usually a silver quarter is a 33 or something. This was a 30. Does it have a mint mark on there? Uh, I don't see one. Pretty cool. All right, another signal here. Uh, silver quarter was right there. I think this might be silver too. Let's see if we can get it out. Oh, it's green, whatever it is. Nope, <laughs> it's just a 
It's just a copper penny. Oh well. Alright guys, I'm at the beach after the storm and first point up here is a mercury dime. Uh, I can't really see the date right now. It's pretty worn. Maybe it's an older one. But that's pretty cool. Let's keep going. Next up right here I have a silver chain. Um, I'm trying to talk really loud because I know last video I wasn't loud enough in the wind. But I think that's silver. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. Next target right here, uh, silver ring. It looks inside said Mexico 925, which is weird because Mexican silver is usually not 925. So I don't know. Cool. So I just dug that, and this hole was not mine. I said somebody doesn't dig their midtones. When I looked over here, I said they're gonna miss gold, and guess what? They did. Let's see. Oh, that's an awesome ring. Look at that. I hope that's a ruby. I hope that's real. I hope this is a real ring too. Uh, it looks real. It doesn't look plated. I'm gonna go see if I can find the hole with some water and finish it right there. Uh, rinse it off. Look at that, everybody. A beautiful gold ring. Uh, there's the marking right there. 10 carat. Awesome. Well, here's that ring in all of its beauty. Oh, that's awesome. Look at that glint right there. Uh, yep, 10 carat, like I said, as you can see, right in the band right there. This is an awesome ring. This is the coolest ring I've ever found. Um, somebody actually offered me $200 on the spot for it, but I think I'm going to keep it because I just love it, and I'm pretty sure it's pretty old. I don't really know rings, but based on this design, I'd say this is just a guess by looks. Maybe 1930 to 1950. Uh, anybody who knows rings can let me know any better, but this is amazing. I love this. I'm going to get it size to fit me too. All right, just dug this up, this silver ring right here. It's sterling. It looks old. It doesn't fit my pinky, but that's awesome. And there it goes. <laughs> nice. So this didn't ring up on my detector, but I just saw it. And I'm pretty sure that's gold. It looks like gold to me. Part of a chain or something. So there it is. Cool. Well, I think we got gold number three. Let's rinse it off. Um, maybe not. Never mind. False alarm. I don't think that's gold. Oh well, looks like a very old earring though. Cool. Here's something interesting right here. Now it could be gold, I have doubts. It rang up an eight, so it's possible. But uh, it won't close, but it's actually a little pair of scissors here. I'm gonna try to push it really hard. There we go. Yep, there it is. Some scissors. Hmm, funny. Well, here's an odd find. I'm pretty sure those are grills. <laughs> funny. All right, super deep hole, and this is actually surprising the second one of these I've ever dug. It's a war nickel. Let's see, it's from Philadelphia Mint. Uh, let's see what the date is on this. 1940, what does that say? 1944, I think it is. Cool, another silver coin, nice. All right, I got a great signal right here. My lovely assistant is gonna find it for us somewhere in there. What do we got here? Oh, what is that? No! Wait, is it silver? No, it's not. 1997. Boo! Boo! Deep 26. Tucker's gonna do his thing. Oh, it's silver. What do we got? Oh, we got a Roosevelt. <laughs> silver number three. I almost said number two. I forgot about that nickel. There we go. A nice crusty Roosevelt. And for your troubles, sir. Oh, I thank you. Are. you. Uh, would you look at that? All right, I need your opinions on this. Is this part of the Canadian coin right here? Or is that maybe an old button or something? Uh, I'm trying to flip it over, it's so hard. If I drop it, I'm gonna lose it. Back's wiped. I don't know, you let me know. Silver number four, another Roosevelt, 1957. Nice. Next target right here, I'm gonna try to focus it a little bit. Uh, it's hard to see because I have my flash on, but I got this earring right here. Uh, it looks like a gold diamond earring. This rang up a 15. That looks like gold to me, and if that's gold, that's probably a diamond. And it even has the back on it still. That's amazing. Well, I guess we'll figure it out, right? It's so bright. I'll try to get a better picture for you later. Cool. 
Here we are again, possibly more gold. This ring up a 13, it sure looks good. Um, there's not gonna be any marking on it, but it's heavy. And it rang up a 13, a 12, looks good to me. Cool. So there you have it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember, like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and uh, leave a comment. I love reading them. See you in the next one.